morning, Washington Elementary Patriots. I'm Kennedy, your news your news anchor for today. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. Please join the Washington Troop as they lead us through the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. Hi, Patriots. I'm Reagan. And I'm Amara. And today I'll be interviewing Amara on what is fourth grade like and like giving the third graders advice on what it will be like in fourth grade for them. Well, uh, all the teachers in fourth grade are really nice. And also, I learned how to do more advanced division. And we learned how to do like like four digits times one digit and stuff like that. Um, uh, have a great day. G Cup. Could you help us do our report? So when you're in fifth grade, you can play the kickball game against the teachers, and it's really fun. At the end of the year, you get to go to Mountain Trail. And that's all I got. Honestly, fifth grade is very fun, and it's all, all you have to do is just do the science pages, get your homework in on time. You'll be into all these fun things like mountain trail, the kickball game, and basically all of the other stuff like the ETSU field trip. It's a lot of fun. So, CR, what advice would you give a third grader about coming into fourth grade? We learn a lot of strategies in fourth grade and like how to solve like two digits to two digits. Thank you, Steve. What's a advice you give you'd give for third graders in first grade? Uh well fourth grade is pretty hard but um I'd probably say um ha- be organized because it's pretty hard to keep up with all the stuff that you're gonna give, uh, be receiving. Um, I almost completely lost my my book this year, so it's pretty good advice. So Kyla, what advice would you give to a third grader about being in fourth grade? Well, I would say to always be nice, have good vibes, and just try hard. Thank you, Kyla. So Kennedy, what advice would you give to a fourth grader about fifth grade? Um, I'd just say be prepared <laughs> for a lot of homework and have positive attitudes towards peers and s- people mm-hmm. and um, try your hardest, I guess. I agree with you. Thank you. So, Miss Paulson, what advice would you give to a second grader about third grade? Wow. The change to... Third grade from second grade is huge. We love to say to kids when they come to third grade, you have switched to another side of the building, and everything on this side is a lot different. Wouldn't you all agree as older kids? So um, we have a lot more freedom and a lot more privileges. Uh, But with that are very high expectations for how to behave and how to get along with friends. We work on the Patriot Promise. We work on your life skills a lot. At the same time, working on... Um, your academic work and we are really really excited because it's the first time you get grades that aren't one two threes or fours you get actual ABCs Um, and that's where most people stay some people we won't talk about the other grades right Um, so it's fun to work with kids and help them understand how we grade things and talk to them about the importance of keeping their grades and what that means for the future so third grade is a rocking place to be but it is a big change from second grade Yes. FYI, the bathrooms change. <laughs> Hi, Patriots. A little advice for me is fifth grade isn't 
really that hard. I actually found it much easier than fourth grade. I don't know why. And it's really fun because you're in the older grade and people look up to you and it's just awesome because you got the kickball. The teacaps aren't, aren't actually aren't that hard. Um, and mountain trail, it's you spend the night at this camp place for like three days and it's really fun. So now back to the studio. Thanks team. Signing off for the WSIC crew. I'm Kennedy. Tune in next time for your WSIC news. Have a great day, Patriots.